What's the deal, y'all? Rich Trapper tapping in TNN and Trap News Network. We back with another reaction video. Y'all know the deal, man. We outside, we outside, we outside. You know, we still got the merch on. Still going. All that wooty bam, all that wooty bam. Uh, make sure you stay commented up, tapped in, liked up, hit that subscribe button, become a part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell right there at the top. Hit all so you stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on. If you ain't found me on Instagram, find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News, <coughs> Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming platforms, Rich Trapper, Game 6, Rich Trapper, Worth More Than Money, Rich Trapper, I'm Better Off Without You, my two new singles, and Nightmare Before Christmas and Start From Scratch are both out now. We got, uh, jumping back into the 600, uh, Whack 100, Snitch 100, Whack Snitch 100, you feel me? Uh, Chronicles with Big Sad 1900 from Playboys. Basically, long story short, we got Big Sad calling Whack an op lover, disrespect Blueface's dead homies, and call Snitch 100 the police. We got, um, yeah, Big Sad finally, you know, responding back, blah, blah, blah. So with that being said, we finna slide into this before we jump into this content, though. I want to give a big shout out to Paperboy News Fan. We're using their content, so shout out to Paperboy News Fan. We're using their content, man. Shout out, shout out to them. A lot of love and respect. Make sure y'all follow them, too. But with no further ado, or don't smell, we inside. One, let's go. Paperboy News here to deliver y'all that daily report. You know, this full big set 1900s on Demon Time. So let's talk about it. Now, as we all know, the Playboy Gangsta Crips, they don't get along with the schoolyards. And this fool right here, big set 1900 saying that Blueface is so much of a coward and so scared of him that he ran to WAC 100, who he referred to uh, Blueface calling him daddy. You know, to basically try to defuse the situation by putting the beef that they had on WAC 100. And he said WAC 100 needs to sit his old ass down because he ain't nothing but a op lover. Who now, I don't know about the op lover part, but sitting his old A double double down, you do need to sit your old A double double down. Sit your old ASS right down, big dog. Sit it down, part me. He sit with people all day long while he's butt naked with a towel over him on his bed. And then he proceeds to disrespect. Pause. Pause the dead by saying you know whack 100 as well as blueface need to leave him alone before they end up like two extra and i didn't know who he was and i looked him up and i guess two extra he's from men and shoreline crips and he got smoked and then he told whack 100 and blueface they better stop playing with him because they ain't got enough money you know to basically protect themselves as well as their loved ones you know he said y'all keep mentioning his name you know, he gonna make sure that their mama, as well as their daddies, is not safe around the area that they live in. And that's what I'm talking about. A lot of these rappers, as well as... Now, we might have finally found somebody who will take it. But you know what? Never mind, because Wack 100 not finna do nothing to come nowhere near Big Sad. He gonna make peace with him, and then if he makes peace with him, then he'll come around him. But if, if Wack 100 don't make no peace with Big Sad, he ain't finna come around that young dude. Because Wack 100 is scared of that young dude. Let's call it what it is. YouTubers, you know, influencers, they need to take advice from that full four extra. Because we all know what type of business he stands on, but it's like what he said. If he got an issue with somebody, he not going to mention it on social media. Because if something happens to that person, you're going to be the primary suspect. And it's so easy. That's true. You into it with somebody, you don't want to talk about it on social media because God forbid that person stubs a big toe or get a hangnail or an ingrown hair follicle and it causes an inflammation. You're going to get blamed for that. So if you got problems with somebody, you should just deal with it in real life off the camera. But dealing with it on camera, it's going to get you a real charge for sure, for sure. Is it a trigger? And then you're going to be like, somebody told on you. Yeah, somebody did tell on you. You told on you. When you went live on Instagram, said F they dead homies and you was going to do this and blah, blah, blah. You told on you, big dog. You told on you. It's full big sad 1900 because you could just tell. Like he was making fun of Blueface as well as the schoolyard saying that 50 more of y'all's gonna die before y'all get to get one of the Playboy Gangsta Crips. It's like some things ain't meant to be on social media. And I believe, in my opinion, and I know everybody else would agree with me, that's one of them. You can tell that Big Sad 1900 came from the trenches, but he's a very talented rapper. And 
it's looking like he's letting his emotions trick him out of what the main objective is, which is to get the bag. You know, if you got the bag and you know you ain't no rat and you didn't do nothing foul, you know, you shouldn't be worrying about people talking about you on the social media because that's what comes along with it. But you know, I don't know what his situation and I don't know what parts he played in it, but you know, he should just focus on making his music and getting his bag. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in that. No, I can't agree with that. I can't agree with that. You should just focus on making your music and getting your chili up and all that kind of stuff. However, you can't tell nobody how to respond to disrespect. And you can't tell nobody how to, you know, uh, move on response of dealing with disrespect, if that makes sense. You feel me? So, you know, hey. Comment section. Y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section. Hit on notifications to get the latest drop on my videos. It's Paperboy Newstand. Y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there. Go. And that's that, man. Shout out to Paperboy Newstand. Uh, I was going to play the live with Big Sad. Thank you, pound always slides in there some kind of way, boss. Um, I was going to play the live with Big Sad, but... It was really incriminating, and I just don't want to be a part of this man. If he just happened to catch a case off this, I don't want to be another source that was helping, you know, catch a case because he was might have said a little bit too much. But with that all being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more of this content. If you ain't did that, do that. Hit that subscribe button, become a part of this rich trapper mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all, stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on. If you ain't did that, make sure you go do that. Find me on all streaming platforms, Rich Trapper, Game 6, worth more than money, and I'm better off without you still out now. Make sure you go get those projects. Um, find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. That's Trap News Network. And we up out of here to the next one, man. Free Avenue Angel until he free. We go.